Hello my friends and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. In our last video we began the Burial Let's See DLC Episode 2. We are Elizabeth, we are back on Rapture, we've made some sort of deal with Atlas slash Fontaine to get him back onto Rapture. So our last update was that we need to go to the Silverfin restaurant to look for Su Chong because apparently Su Chong is going to help us which... I'm interested to see how that works out. Now we've done the Ryan the Lion Preparatory Academy. We went into Cupid's Arrow. And uh, let's see, now I think the only other place for us to go to, oh good, there's vending machines because I, I'm i out of ammo. <laughs> free men and free markets, we did that one. Do I have any other plasmids? I don't. Let's get some crossbows. Like fifteen dollars for each one. Oh, that's way too expensive. I'll get a lock pick though, because that might be useful. No refund, no return. We're gonna be better being sneaky because it's expensive. <laughs> Getting more ammo as Elizabeth. But then again, it's expensive in general. Buying ammo. Okay, examine lockpick. Probing a blue pin will open the lock and knock a free noisemaker. Okay. Or knock free a noisemaker. They must be excised like tumorous growth before it's. You've acquired a noise-making device. Make sure it's equipped and fire it at the windows to the right to draw the splicers from your path. Without the snarl and turmoil, we become fixed or stagnant. We are dead inside. You're very philosophical about becoming a splicer. We must find it, root it out. Rapture the gateway to your future. But what if I wanted to go over there and look for stuff? You know what? It's probably safer if I just go. How can you rationalize? Once I could see everything, every possible moment. And now. You're just like everyone else. Why? Why? Because I. Hang on, I gotta, let's select that one. Maybe? Died here? If I'm just like everyone else, I can't help Sally. I can't even get back to where I was. If you don't mind me asking, love, why are you talking to nobody? <laughs> if I pegged you for a loon, I might have had second thoughts on our arrangement. I'll hold up my end, but I better find the girl the way I left her. You're in no position to make demands. But I must confess, I do like a bit of sass in a lass. Mm -mm. I do appreciate how she didn't smash the elevator button like Booker did. This guy in a nice person? So let's see. Bathosphere's Deluxe. Oh, it's a big daddy. My Fontaine Futuristics. Pick up possession? Okay, now I have possession. Oh, it must have been over here. Daddy, the one that killed me. You can't trade blows with him. Comstock put him down and he got right back up. Now I can't hurt him. I could keep my distance, but if I watched myself, he could come in handy. Enemy of my enemy. 
Big Daddy attacks Elizabeth on sight and cannot be killed, but there are ways to trick him into fighting for you. Uh, possession. There we go. Um, let me let me just hold off a minute. Okay, where am I supposed to be going? Over there. So what is this place? Oh, we should not walk in the water. Test drive. Old man winter. To become an intellectual superhuman, you must wade deep within the most dangerous mental territory looking for a fight. <laughs> yeah, permanently. Gosh, this place is like scarier than normal. <laughs> Partially because I have to be so sneaky now and I can't just shoot my way out of the situation. Not sorry. What is this? The humpback. Okay. Nope. Tranquilizer ammo. Thank you. Nope. Ooh. Recording. For audio diary. What is. Yes, I have Peeping Town possession. Iron sides I'm going to get. And Old Man Winter I'm assuming I'm going to get. So this Atlas Guy by Samantha Kemp, December the 10th, 1958, location test drive. This fella Atlas has been making the rounds down here, trying to bring some kind of order to this pit. All the splicers think the man walks on water, but something about him smells stink to me. Reminds me a bit of my former employer, Frank <laughs> Fontaine. Really? Always talking about how he was going to lift Rapture right out of the old man's wallet. No fuss, no muss. See where that got him. Hmm. Okay, so we can go back around here now. I'm guessing Old Man Winter is going to be down in here somewhere. Harassment, that what, that's what this is. Incessant, unfounded, prying into my respectable entrepreneurial affairs. What do you want? Let me in, I'm working with Atlas. I ain't heard nothing. Nobody gets you there without a kind word from the boss. Okay. Here comes Big Daddy. Oh gosh, he's coming right here. Okay. going that way. Well, I'm going to go this way. Hand cannon ammo. Uh, 
I need this guy to get up some. Come on, walk over there again. There you go. Yes, he is indisposed. Lockpick. Oh. <laughs> oh, lockpick. I'm pushing the wrong button. <laughs> Jessica. Examine note. Hmm. Looks like someone's been decrypting a code. We've confirmed completion of the ace in the hole. Su Chong has it, but unlikely to give it up easily. We'll update when we know more. What's that all about? Optional find all four coded transmissions. Okay. Ah, uh, determined. Come here, baby. I ain't sore. You sure? Because you sound sore. Hypnotize Big Daddy. Coming next year. Oh, of course. I need to go buy another lockpick. Or find another one. That would probably be easier. I hear you gossiping about me. Mm-hmm. I don't believe you. That's I do gotta say. <laughs> We're through. Let me back in. Big Daddy's coming. I do gotta say, I like how they change the game. I may not be into stealth sneaky games as much, but I can't appreciate it. It's a nice change up. They're real They're like up. Well, my fans Look away by Fontaine Futuristics. Oh, she won't look away. Oh, possession. The medicine shop over there. We should make our way into. I need to take care of this lady. Stay there just a moment longer. I got just the thing. The tiger shark. It's top of the line. And as luck would have it, steeply discounted impression. Atlas, he's your pal! No, he's not. Seems to me you're against a guy making an honest buck. I thought Rapture was open for business. Lockpick. Nice. Now I can go back and... Get another one of those. Possession KO mod. What? Causes enemies to be knocked out once the effects wears off. Oh. Well, that's nice. Because then I can possess humans to work for me, and then I don't have to worry about killing them later. Or them killing themselves, which is horrifying. Another coded message. Attempt to retrieve Ace in the hole from Su Chong unsuccessful. Ryan Private Security killed three of our men in the bargain. We'll need to explore alternate means of obtaining Ace. What is I wonder what the Ace in the Hole is. Oh yeah, it could also be going through the ducks as well. 
but I'm not real keen on that right right this minute. You like these? Another lock pick, thank you. Wallet. Okay. Elegance by Fontaine Futuristics. Same and snow. Go oh, oh. <sighs> what was that? You know, don't you? The, the doors, they're, they're they're cracking open. My memories of the future and, and, and somewhere I'm going to go. You sure it's your future? You're looking. Did someone come inside? The door opened. To be extra careful I don't miss anything then. I just feel like all these shots and whatnot are not to help the people. This goes to the back room where I picked up the mod. Okay. I think we're good there. gone into the food kitchen we went into test drive because that's where Fontaine's at what is this room here oh is this the elevator that I came in through I think yes well, let's head upstairs we need two more of the coded messages oh I can head up there Gosh, this place is huge. Stop it line. Who the hell are you? Ah, uh, come here, baby. I ain't sore. Man, I'm planning a big comeback. Just need a new agent. <laughs> you know anybody? Problem solved. Okay. Um, hang on. Before I go into there, it's not where I need it to go. Okay, great. And then we shall go into the something lounge. Manta Ray Lounge. Oh, did I loot, the, loot their bodies? I think I did. Or is there anything up here? No. Gosh, he's coming! We gotta get away! Okay, now we'll go in the lounge. Like I said, it's an uh, sneaky games. I'm not, are not my favorite. I know I keep repeating myself, but it is a really nice change. Okay, fancy schmancy lounge. Don't really see any manta rays. Great, I have more than two. I have all of three now. Oh, it's 
saving. Audio diary. Yay! <laughs> okay. So, say la vie, Johnny DeMarco. I remember that name from previous games. I couldn't place it, though, but I'm sure it'll re-explain, maybe. So, December the 25th, 1958, the Manta Ray Lounge. Louie, 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 Louie. Hey, if you don't get down here soon, there's not going to be an ounce of booze or a piece of ass for the taking. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I think you've taken this whole Robin Hood business a bit too much to heart. Fontaine's got us out there ladling soup for the purpose of building an army. Not to share the milk of human kindness. You keep up this kind of behavior. I'm gonna start thinking there's more red in you than Karl Marx. What the hell? Splicers. Busting it! Hurwitz! Tell Fontaine the permanent compromise! I do love the uh, death diary sort of log entries. Did you ask to be brought into this world? If your parents expect anything from you, tell them to get it in writing. What? <laughs> okay, let's try to clear the room. Will make searching a whole lot easier. Wow, this place is huge. There's somebody all the way over there. How am I supposed to get there? Stairs over here? Yes, maybe. And that's nothing but water. H for heal? Hang on, I got a options. Gameplay, nope, that's not it. Um, controller, all right, let me see. Play audio log. Use medical kit as G. I'm hitting H, because H for heal makes the most sense to me. Oh no! Oh no, what happens? How far back do I go? Though there's little to like in this Atlas fellow, one must admire the lilt in his brogue. I do commend this recent effort of yours to find the good in people. Sadly, it's all alive. The effort? The accent. I don't suppose there's much about the man that's authentic. He's authentically homicidal. And you do this <laughs> as positive. Well, one has to start somewhere. Oh no, I go back to my previous checkpoint. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. Back, Glenda, Glenda, Glenda. She's got to know, I know. She's got to know. She's just don't care. All right, let's try to do this better. Oh, I don't really like that, having to go back so far. And then we don't need to play that again because I've already listened to it once before. So I should try to kill that lady first. She's the scout, basically. Let's get everything in order, shall we? Oh, 
I can attach here. I am in the peace of mind business. Hmm. There's one there. crouch. All right. All right, that worked out better. Now let's try to get the rest of these guys. This guy's in water, so that's going to be tricky, but let's go try to get these two over here. Dancing downstairs. This guy here. Let's take care of him. Come on. All that glass. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Harassment. That's what this is. Incessant, unfounded prying into my respectable entrepreneurial affairs. Mm-hmm. Totally. That's exactly what it is. Everyone is out to get you. Can't you can't judge a man only by his bookings. Character's gotta come into account. Seems to me you're against a guy making an honest buck. I thought Rapture was open for business. All right, come on, let's try no, to catch up with him. I don't know. Don't like the looks of him. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Walk faster, walk faster. Okay, let's go take care of this. You're not getting out of this deal out easy. I am out of Eve. Ah, I ain't letting a good lead like you get away. There's a turret up here. First, the law gets bribery. Then, the one so fell in my crib, advising how I defecate. I need to possess it. Next, martial law. But I don't have any Eve. Picks. Hmm. Ah, Eve. Perfect. Well, well. Ah! Hurry up and come out. I got a lot of irons in the fire. You can lock pick it. Oh, gas bolts are armed with a proximity gas bomb, which renders nearby enemies unconscious. Interesting. Break's over. Back to you.
I wish there was an autosave. Or like a... There is an autosave. I wish there was a save that I could manually use. Come on. Got him. I want to just have the regular crossbow tranquilizer. Crossbow tranquil tranquilizers. And I think that's the last of them. It's not. Oh, there's more over here in this room. And there is apparently more right here. Did I get him? I got him. <laughs> That's nice. Ah, more are coming. Yourself heard. Manta Ray Lounge. I can't get in this door, apparently. Mm. I don't like that they keep coming. <laughs> Judging by your appearance, this could be interesting. I still have the ability to scare. Like some cognitive primitive. Here you may fulfill your potential and get all that is Yeah, yeah. Huh. There's a lock on the other side of this door. The door that was up there is the same door that's down here. Let me go and take care of the other splicer that's up here now. See, there she is. Oh, there's two of them now. I've had it with this insolent behavior. You have one second to show your face. Oh, well. Hand can ammo is full. Shotgun, hand cannon. So I wonder, can I? Curious, most curious. Enter the vent here, maybe. Come back. Let's see this through together. Sweet. Yourself. It appears 
Our time is up for now. For now. Let's um possess like tuberous growth. There we go. I'm like, it wasn't letting me switch. What's going on? Welcome to the circus of value. Hmm. I'm gonna spend twenty dollars and refill my Eve. And another eighteen dollars for a lock pick. Oh jeez, this is off a full bunch of getting around that right now. That's okay. Ammo's full. Crossbow. Tranquilizer ammo. Elizabeth, this is Poster. What's this all about? Cohen spent two months as his disciple, trying to get a line on his trafficking ring. Awful man. Why not just kill Comstock and be done with it? Comstock had to know why. He had to know that he deserved it. Did he? Did he deserve it? I suppose we all do. One way or another. Interesting. Regardant and furrant observes. Okay. Oh, it's another Cohen art film. <laughs> I'm standing by. <laughs> Why did you? Oh no, someone's right behind me, aren't they? I'm ready for it. I'm ready for the jump scare. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Two lock picks. What's the other one over here? Maybe this one will be. Maybe one of these will be less. Ooh, lock pick. Yay! Thank you. Sardines for health. Thank you. Two lock picks. Is there no way back up? Doesn't look like there's a way back up. I didn't get a noisemaker, but it's okay. But I do wonder what is in each of these rooms. <coughs> I missed again. Although I should just be happy. On me again. Oh, good. It looks like it's going upstairs. That will be. <laughs> He's snoring. <laughs> okay, audio diary. I only have 20 more to find. <laughs> Atlas provides Samantha Kemp, December the 24th, 1958, the Manta Ray Lounge. I never thought anyone would be able to bring all these degenerate splice heads into line. I gotta hand it to Atlas. After Ryan locked us up in this pit, I thought that was it. 
Just a long, final dive into the abyss. But he's given us hope. Or what passes for it down in Rapture. When a person's got nothing, hope's about the kindest thing you can give her. Or the cruelest. Yeah. Definitely understand what you're getting at. <laughs> G for medical kit. Yes. I'm pressing G. I no 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 no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Where did I have to go back to? Oh no. Is it different every time? In a second, I'll get to you. Okay, so yeah, I had to start all over again. That seems completely ridiculous, to be honest. But there you go, that happened. I finally got back to where I had left off. You're only hiding. Come! Let's test your metal. How can you rationalize cowering? It's easier. It's lots easier. Expose your frailties to me! And then there's another turret up here, I think. No, it's under the lock. But I took care of the turret that was upstairs, and now I've taken care of the turret that's here. Peeping clock mod. Removes Eve cause for invisibility while standing still. Come back! Let's see this through! If you're going to disappear before... Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Search turret. Yeah. Pull on all that stuff. Okay. Oh my goodness. That's very frustrating. I'm not gonna lie. If we see curious. Most curious. Confront you! I have one lockpick left. I need to go buy a whole bunch more, but I only have $35 left. And there was a, I was gonna say a chest, but a safe that I need to break into as well. And there was no secret messages in here, which was a little disappointing. Okay, but I think I'm done. I feel like I've covered everything multiple times now. I hope I managed to pick up everything, but. That's a little, that's a little frustrating to have to do and redo over and over and over again. But that mod will be extremely useful. Because that's what most of my Eve was getting spent on. It's bundled up tight. You don't want anything to do with her. She's just a cooch with legs. Just one this time. I school him at home. Only way to keep him away from bad influences. Can I? Just going to stand there with your mouth open? You're only going to make it worse when I find you. <laughs> that is awesome. 
Okay, I think I've gotten everything here. <sighs> I'd very much like to leave now. Let's see, every time I thought I saw it, see, saving profile, I thought, hmm. Maybe that doesn't mean what I think it means. I've been in here before, right? Yes. I feel like I spent like 45 minutes in here alone, but I haven't. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, big daddy. And I'm out of Eve, but I don't want to pay for more Eve. Service bay. Well, let's see what's back here. I can't lockpick. Dang it, I gotta go buy more. Oh no, there's one. I did manage to hit a couple noisemakers the last time. Not this time, but the last reload I had. Lockpick, yay! I need all the lockpicks, please. Service bay? Oh my. That's not good. button. Okay, sure. <laughs> like, I have no idea where I, I don't think this is where I'm supposed to be going. Hang on, let me, is this where I was supposed to be going? Nope. Perfect. Shotgun ammo. Ooh, two lockpicks. Now I'm up to three. Look at that. Farmer's daughter. I'm surprised there aren't bad guys in here. Well, now they're here. Oh my goodness, this place is huge! Are those underwater mines? Well, that's insane. Okay, well, I think I'm actually going to take the opportunity to pause here today. So on Tuesday, we'll pick back up here and try and sneak our way through this service bay area. And then maybe eventually we'll get back on the main quest. I do want to try to find all these coded transmissions before I do that. But we'll have to, we'll have to see all that, how all that goes. But that's a plan. And as normal, we'll go from there. <laughs> but as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe. And I will see you again on Tuesday with another new Bioshock Infinite video.